actually the draw though, isn't he? It, he has, yeah. In, in the bottom half, you, well, it's going to have to come through probably if the seedings work out. Michael Vengo and Adrian Lewis to get to the final, and then who's, who's to say may meet Phil Taylor. So it's going to be hard work, but look, it's a world championship. You've got to beat the best players. Do you think he's, he thinks that time's running out for him to make his six time world champion? I, I'm just never sure with Barney because he, he runs so hot and cold, and when he's on, look, he wins Grand Slams like he did last year. Uh, it, anything's possible, he's five times champion of the world. Just that sometimes I think he doubts that his own ability every now and again, and he shouldn't do that. He knows as, as well as we do, he's, uh, he's the best on his day. Tell me about Jamie Caven because his record against Barney is, is good on the tour. He is good. When he doesn't beat him, he loses 6 5, and uh, they've, they've shared a couple of victories each. But with Jamie, for me, he really has got to get stuck in early. Get Barney shaking his head because once Barney's in front of you, he's one of the best front runners in, in sport, not, not just darts. Okay, let's send up his commentary. John Parr, Nigel Pearson. Really looking forward to this one. Hope you are as well. Promises to be an absolute belter. Jamie Caven, quick fire, playing full of confidence right now as well. You could see that as he made his way onto the stage. And Barney still feels he has another world title in him. And why not as well? It's going to be a fast pace. 85. And a game of high quality in this, the second round, John. Looking forward to it. Yes, and it's interesting to see 58. how Jamie handles this early on because if he doesn't get a good start, it could be a bit of a massacre. I think Barney is truly up for it. Looks calm, and he, I, I see really early on, Barney isn't hurrying his pace. He's taking his time, and generally speaking to me, in the past, he's been a rhythm player, so I think he's trying to even slow the pace of the game down on Jamie. Caven beat Yellow Class and in a quick fire game in the first round. The beautiful release of Van Barnevelt. 95. Van Barnevelt sets one on the finish here. For a break of throw in the first leg of the match. 20 for tops. What a start this would be! Oh. 100. Here's a chance to get out of jail on a sloppy start. Slow leg, needs a treble. Yes, yeah, so double ten. It's there. James what a big lane. dart for Jamie, Jamie Caven. Second leg is for Raymond to throw first. Magnificent Pick response from Caven. That was world class. And but, if this is a sign of things to come. But yeah, it's a great shot by Caven to hold his throw, but you still get the feeling he's hanging on there with his fingernails already. Uh, he's he's got to assert himself scoring against throw now to pressure Barney right back. Even if he doesn't win a leg, he's got to be right there with him just to show with Barney that it's a two-way fight. Barney will be annoyed, though, that he missed that double. But this is beautiful. Plenty of room. 100. Settles for the 140. We're up for this as well. Fantastic lineup tonight. 97. Lovely cover down for Channel 19. Caven, who... Lost in the first round last year to John Bowles, but he's had a good year this year. A fine performance to beat Yellow Class, and in that first round, he was a fair reflection of the way the game went. No look about it. He's a better player. Thoroughly deserved his victory. To play this fella, true legend of the game. One hundred. Well, needs to do some special work. Two treble twenties to leave a finish. No, so very comfortable situation for Barney. He uh, had 120, missed the tops. Now he just needs the treble to leave double. Still needs a treble or two tops. He stayed on the trebles. He's happy to leave 60. 40 in this scenario. That said, there's some pressure coming. And Raymond still doesn't have his uh, in quotes first double of the match, which we Ramager always like to settle us down. To settle him down then. Well, Games gets on the there. Second leg. Third Ring attempt to the double. Levels it up. Third One leg, leg a piece. Game on. Great start to the match. Good tempo. High quality. 134. They're not really 
needing much time to get into the groove. Good start. Well, that's a good first three from Jamie because his struggle, uh, sorry, he's been struggling on the scoring. And uh, he needs to get more two treble scoring turns, if not three. 57. Or Barney will eat him up. <laughs> We're talking about sloppy scoring. Barney looks like a whole different player in this league. 43, 41. 41. What's happened? He's in a blip. Meanwhile, Kenny looking good. Oh, brilliant 180. Absolutely brilliant. First of the match for Jamie Caven. I have to say, a raucous atmosphere here. And uh, probably contributing a little bit to the nerve Jamie level on these guys. But it's a treble 20, treble 18. Now he's gone for treble 10 for tops. 90. He knew what he wanted. Concerned now for Raymond. Left way behind Nigel. This is more like it though. 140. But Jamie is too, little, too late in this leg. Double 10. Caven. Fives now. Two body leads. No message. Jamie Caven. Jamie Caven losing Caven. confidence. And Barnevelt has got a game on his hands here, make no mistake about that. Well, uh, the first three legs, the third leg was the only one I felt Jamie really played well. Uh, he, he escaped that first leg by hitting a double well, but I think he's got all the momentum now because of that last leg. And he's up 2-1. It's going to be everything Raymond could do to stop from losing this set right here. 100. 4 perfect darts. Well, Caven's put Van Barnevelt under Whoa, pressure already man. here. Dare I say it, looking good to win the first set. But can Barney bounce back here? 170. Bit of class, bit of class. Yeah, left the 1-3-5. Uh, it's the kind of one we like when we start on the ball. 100. Jamie better at 1-2-1. One, one. See if Raymond gets a 25 or bull. It's a bull, so trouble 15 for tops. It's only a single. So Jamie will get an opportunity for the set. 119. Jamie with 121. Well, that was high quality from Barney. Trouble 17 bull. So 53. Raymond Van Barneveld leads double eight to level the first set, and what a set it's been. Oh, Jeez, brilliant finishing. Two apiece, Kevin has the throw. throw first. Game on. We are in for an absolute treat here, folks. And I was going to say, the 85. throw with the scoring he's been getting be very difficult for Raymond to take, but 85, there's an opening for you if you're Raymond Van Barneveld. And he'll be furious with himself. That was a perfect first dart for a 180, and he only gets 85 himself. Don't forget, send us your tweets. Nice. Sky Sports Darts, hashtag World Darts. Send us your messages throughout the course of the evening. It's a good first start from Barney. 100. We're done with a 140 there, though. That's two turns in a row. He's had a perfect first start and then tightened up. So you can't say he's entirely Safety. comfortable. He's feeling some nerves. Jamie's feeling some nerves. First the four sets, though, they will settle in, and it'll just get better and better. 100. And with the quality of these two guys, neither one relishes losing the first set, because that's a mountain to climb either way. 28. Only 28 for Jamie now. An opportunity for Barney here. Switching down for the treble 19 and gets it. Well, 140, nothing less is what he's after. He wants to get to a decent finish now. He has left the finish, but Raymond heavily favored. Trouble 20 knees. Tops for the set. And a break. 
The door is still open for Gaven now. Yeah, well, the last time Raymond missed the 120, Jamie took out. And he could do it again with a double eight for the set. Yes! What a fantastic display for Jamie Gaven under the most extreme pressure. Just the ultimate dart shot under pressure for Jamie Gaven. He's for real. Barney knows it. Will it last? Come back after the break and we'll find out.